about super shiny foiled effects for your Christmas cards? It will give that instant festive feel and it will look great on any mantelpiece. I will show you how you can get rid of the plastic look when using a piece of foil for the second time, how to fill the gaps and make a second grungy print, and how to get rid of the stickiness when using double-sided adhesive. Hi lovelies, I'm Gerry and I have some more super cool foiling techniques for you that can be done without any fancy tools, so let's get to it. In the first video I showed you how transfer gel works with foil and I have some more techniques with this gel. I applied it to my card and let it dry and it's ready to use when it's tacky, not sticky. And this is what I did for the first card. I add the foil, press it down a bit and then run it through my die cutting machine and I will tell you a bit more about it later. I peeled off the foil and now I add it to the card with double sided adhesive. I start in the corner, the backing peeled away and then work my way across the card. So the foil sticks on smoothly, just a simple trick that works really great. Now check out the difference between the foiled card and the card with the leftover plastic sheet. I want to show you a fun new technique to get rid of the plastic look and it's super simple. Just add a thin layer of clear matte distress collage medium. I add it with a soft brush from left to right and top to bottom so you don't get too much stripes. A sponge or a brayer could work too. And then I let it dry. And there you go, the plastic look is gone and the shiny foil is still visible. Here you can see the original foiled card and the second print together. And this was a real cool find that worked out great, which is not always the case when testing out new ideas. But let's take it a step further. I'm going to add the stencil back in place on the card over the stencil pattern. I add the tape to the back so it stays put. And then I add another layer of the transfer gel. If you like to learn more about stencils and paste and how to get the best result, I will link to another video in the description box below. I filled the complete pattern with the gel. I did miss a spot as you will see later. So make sure to fill the gaps if you like the complete pattern. I peel off the stencil and then I'm going to put the card aside to dry. I cleaned the make art station and added a new card and put the stencil on top, paste side facing up. I clean the stencil on the card using the spatula and a wet wipe. This is cleaning disguised as crafting, so this is two in one and such a big time saver. I peel off the stencil and there you have another print really easy. And your stencil is, well, about clean. And this will give you a bit more of a grungy look, so I'm going to let this dry too. Another thing you can do is use foiled card. This is foiled craft stock, also fun to tear. And I just add the super cute triangle pattern with the paste. And colored card is also an option, of course. I fill the complete pattern with the paste and then I'm going to let it dry. A thin layer will take about an hour or so. For this card, I picked a black foil. I thought it would look great on the silver. So I add it on top of the card and then, like I showed in the first foil video, you can run it through the machine or use a brayer to add a bit more pressure. So this is the result. It could be a great masculine card base too. The leftover piece I used on another card with double sided adhesive. And the trick here is to press down and peel off really gently. If one corner doesn't work, uh, go to another corner or side. And you want to use foil pieces with lots of foil on it. This will make peeling off easier too. I add a second color to fill the complete card to get a pretty foil background. I use a used piece of foil, but you can go for a new sheet too, of course. Now this is still sticky and the trick is use an anti-static pouch. The powder will stick to the sticky parts, so it doesn't stick anymore. <laughs> that was a lot of sticky. Uh, with the shiny foil still intact, isn't that cool? Brush away the excess powder and there you go, another simple solution for your foiled backgrounds. So let's turn it into a card. I have some big letters cut out of chipboard and once again out of silver card and I glue them together to add some dimension. And this is the finished card. On with the double pasted card that's dry now. I find that our foils I tried so far all work without fancy tools. So that's good to know. I peel off the plastic and I think this is a super cool result even with the parts on the side missing. And here's the card I cleaned the stencil on with a super fun grungy look. For the other cards I cut a bunch of words all three times to repeat just one word on each card. With the magnetic ruler on the make art station I line up the letters and then glue them in place. I use ultra bond adhesive which works great on a non-porous surface like the foiled background. Now here's the finished card and here are the three cards with the same pattern and though the colors are similar you'll get some different looks. Here's another video for you to check out. Uh, have lots of fun 
done giving these foiling techniques a try and as always make sure to keep on crafting